Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at another absolutely enormous boost in game compatibility, performance and visual upgrades for Yuzu, this Nintendo Switch emulator. The progress and speed of updates we are seeing on this Switch emulator really just makes me fall in love with the emulation scene all over again, especially so when we can see all of these games coming to life in such an awesome way from day to day. So while the topic of this video is going to be probably 70% improvements to Super Mario Odyssey because, to be honest, that's the game that I myself am most excited to see running on this Switch emulator, at least at this point in time, I'm going to start this video off by taking a look at some other games that have seen absolutely enormous performance and rendering changes in these latest versions of Yuzu. As you have been watching in this video so far, you can now see that Bayonetta 2, graphically and performance wise, is almost perfect on this emulator at this point in time. Now another game that lots of you are going to be super excited about is the fact that Breath of the Wild is now fully and correctly rendering its 3D models on this Switch emulator. Unfortunately right now there are unimplemented shader instructions and most likely shaders also, meaning that unless you have your camera at certain angles you're not going to be properly able to see all of these different character models. There is however a workaround that you can kind of do to see all of these different camera models if you bring up your magnesium rune and press the magnesis button in order to use your rune, you can actually see the entire rendered 3D environment showing us that these environments are indeed rendered, they are just completely missing their shaders and that is why they're not rendered. When we actually come up to the top of these stairs and you look to this other balcony across the way, you can also see that all of these models for all of these enemy NPCs are also 100% correctly rendered, meaning that once we get the correct shaders and shader instructions for this game implemented, it should be in a very, very playable state. Another game that has seen an absolutely enormous boost to performance and rendering is a Nintendo Switch exclusive, ARMS. Many of you, if you caught my last Yuzu compatibility and performance upgrade video, would indeed have seen that ARMS had seen a very, very significant boost to its rendering of these character models. However, you can see right now that that update has been absolutely eclipsed. Literally, absolutely every single minute detail on these different character models is now being almost perfectly rendered, exactly like it is rendered on the Nintendo Switch itself, bringing this game even closer to being 100% playable on this emulator. So we're now going to move on to the main event and my main focus of this video. Let's take a look at some of these enormous rendering improvements we have seen to Super Mario Odyssey. To show you exactly how much the rendering has improved, this is the previous build of Yuzu to the one I am about to show you. As you can see, there is some weird rendering on Mario's nose, Cappy's eyes aren't being rendered and you can see that practically all of the textures on Mario's hair and his clothing are completely incorrect. Transitioning over into some footage of Super Mario Odyssey running on this latest build of Yuzu, you can see just how much an improvement we have seen not only to the fact that Cappy's eyes are now rendered, but also to the texture of his hair, moustache, his skin, the fact that we've gotten rid of this weird white thing rendering on his nose, and you can see that the textures on his clothes and practically everything else are so much better than they previously were or ever have been on this emulator. So even if this was the only change, I probably still would have made this video and would still have been in absolute awe of the development speed that these guys are putting in. But these changes are probably the smallest of all of the new rendering fixes we have seen in Super Mario Odyssey. First of all, let's take a look at Sand Kingdom. So only about two or three days ago, we got an update that fixed a lot of the colors in Super Mario Odyssey. You can see that while a lot of the colors are way more accurate than they ever were in that update, however, even though the colors are more accurate, they're still not perfect and as you can see in the kind of front section of your screen, we still have this large amount of a vertex explosion on our screen in gameplay. You can see it much, much better when I move my camera, you can see that the vertex explosion is coming from somewhere in the village. 
looking up to the sky and towards the sun you can also see that the sky box is completely broken and nothing in the sky apart from maybe the moon and some of the platforms are being correctly rendered. You can just see the amount of vertex issues we are currently having. Now also due to these vertex explosion issues we were having very poor performance. You can see I'm only maxing up to around 40 FPS when looking towards the vertex explosion and when looking towards the town it drops down to a very low around 24 to 25 FPS. Moving over into our latest build, you can very, very clearly see just how much the rendering has improved, especially so in Sand Kingdom. Now, when I am going to move my camera around, you are still going to see that we have these weird hexagonal black flashing images on the ground. One of Yuzu's main developers is actually almost certain that he knows exactly what causes these, so hopefully with a little bit of hope and our fingers crossed we will get a fix for this sooner rather than later. It is in fact the exact same developer that implemented all of these rendering fixes that is looking at this black mess fix and they are also looking at this weird culling that is happening along with lots of the other main developers of Yuzu. So you can see the performance wise in this kingdom we are getting absolutely outstanding performance. Previously if you looked at any of my other videos you would have seen that while we do still get this stuttery pausing when I looked down towards this town I would drop down to around 25 or 26 frames per second whereas now we are up in the high to mid 30s. Do also remember that previously when we were getting this 25 and 26 FPS, we were running in the portable mode of Yuzu emulator, meaning that it was running at a way lower resolution, whereas now we are running in the docked mode, which gives you a much, much better graphical fidelity in all of your games. You can see that the cube maps are still in full effect on Mario himself. It is in fact these cube maps that makes Mario look kind of shiny in certain lighting conditions, Obviously he's not meant to look like that, it's just the fact that currently the lighting isn't exactly rendered perfectly in this game. You should see that when we go under this arch Mario will become shiny again, yeah you can see it there. This is due to the fact that there is some kind of illumination missing from the game at this point in time. Another major fix is the fact that all of the 2D stages are now completely 100% working in Super Mario Odyssey. In every previous build of Yuzu emulator, all of these 2D sections, no matter which level you were playing in, were completely vertex exploded and were 100% unplayable. So not only did the fact that they were vertex exploded make them completely unplayable, it also absolutely tanked your performance anytime you looked towards the area where these vertexes were indeed exploded. As you can very clearly see, not only are these 100% rendered and functional as of right now, but the performance in these areas, at least after you've cached all of your shaders into your GPU driver, work absolutely 100% flawlessly. Any of these moving platforms that you can see on screen right now, either in this level or any other level that they are in, were also previously completely vertex exploded, meaning that they were kind of unusable due to the fact that the base of them on which you stand was kind of invisible, which made it very, very hard to traverse any of the levels in which they are. So I think we've been looking at Sand Kingdom for long enough, let's now take a look at one of my favourite kingdoms, at least visually, in Super Mario Odyssey and see how much it has improved in this new version of the emulator. So as many of you would have seen in my previous video, Cloud Kingdom, which was previously a yellow and green horrible mess, got a very, very significant performance and rendering improvement, getting much, much more accurate colours. Quickly transitioning over to this latest version of Yuzu and you can see how enormous the rendering quality of not only the level but the skybox and the clouds has become in this version of the emulator. Moving around the level you can yes obviously see that it is not perfectly rendered just yet but performance wise and render wise it is just so good you can even see that Cappy's eyes and Mario's render quality is the exact same quality that we were previously seeing in the menus. You can also see that the rendering quality of the materials on many of the objects in the worlds has also drastically improved. What I mean by this is the fact that objects that are meant to be metal look like they're metal and stuff that looks like it's meant to be made out of cloud looks like it's made out of cloud. 
That's not exactly the most accurate description I could give, but hopefully you guys get the gist of what I mean. The last area I want to show you guys the render improvement is one of the most troublesome and problematic both rendering and performance areas in the entire game. For anybody who saw my last video you would have seen that Luncheon Kingdom was absolutely performance destroyed due to the fact that practically every single NPC and object in that area was vertex exploding. Let's transition over and see exactly how it looks right now. So where previously this kingdom was 120% unplayable due to the fact that practically everything as I said was vertex exploding, it has now been 100% fixed with all of these vertex issues solved and this kingdom now looks, performs and renders absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, this kingdom does seem to have what would appear to be a large amount of shaders or something very similar to that, so it does take quite a large amount of time upon first time of loading in for your gameplay to kind of stabilize. You can see that even though it does seem to be running quite well right now, it does take quite a large amount of time for it to get to this kind of level. Upon entering this pipe, you can once again see that this area is now completely fixed and 100% playable on this emulator. So even though there are probably dozens of other games that have been affected by these rendering changes, unfortunately due to fairly severe time constraints I have literally just not had the time to test any of them out. If you yourself want me to test any specific games on this emulator do let me know down in the comment section of this video. As always if I have access to that game I'll either reply to you in a comment or if I can do so I will include it in my next compatibility guide for this emulator. So once again guys, if you want to help with the support of Yuzu and its development, you can find a link to their Patreon down in the description of this video. If you either now or in the future plan to use this emulator and want to see it in its best possible state, you should definitely consider supporting these guys, especially after seeing all of these rendering improvements we have seen even in the last week itself. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me